Hello everyone, it's Monica here and welcome to my channel. As you can see, I went shopping again, I couldn't resist and uh, I don't know what happened. Few things fell into my basket. I was looking actually at Chloe's creative cards for a while and I was thinking should I buy a few things or not. I really liked uh, her products. I received one of those boxes as uh, a prize for winning card make of the year in 2022 so i know her products and i know the quality so i thought um these are quite pricey but i thought let let me get a few things and last week i uh, craft stash uh, sent a newsletter for vip members and uh, that they've got quite a lot of products on 30 percent uh, discount for the whole uh, june so I thought, let me see. And they had few products from Chloe's range and I put them into my basket. And of course, VIP members, I ordered them on Wednesday, received them on today, Saturday. Uh, so that was quite quick, I think. Uh, then I went to Chloe's website again. I ordered things on Wednesday and received them on Friday morning. So that's very good, fast service. I think 48 hours. At least she's aiming for 48 hours. So basically, I got four items from Craft Sash and uh, this mystery box because I signed up for her newsletter and she uh, she sent an email saying that uh, she put some uh, mystery boxes, everyday mystery boxes and everyday uh, Christmas boxes on her website. And the value of each box is over £100, but the a box costs only forty pounds, and she disclosed a free items which are almost forty pounds in total plus a mixed uh, product. So uh, let me show you the craft stash first, and then I will show you the box. What was in the mystery box? Because I think it's a fantastic value for money. You will see, you will love it. <laughs> you will not be able to resist as me. <laughs> I'm thinking about the Christmas one as well, but maybe for my birthday because uh, when you receive uh, when you buy something from Chloe's website, you get some. Uh, I think she called them sparkle points, sparkle something. I don't know, but anyway, uh, I already uh, received few. So, uh, craft stash thirty percent off. I bought those two sets of uh, leaves. I love leaves, and I couldn't decide which one to get, so I bought two of them now i can see that i would prefer this one and i would be happy with only one set but yes uh, i'm sure i will use this one as well uh, so uh, these are set of two this one is set of four you can see that there are two different designs uh, but they're kind of smaller or diff slightly different shape i love this set and i think it's really nice uh, so these are two from craft stash i will try to link everything below the video so you can check it out i wanted some frames uh because i've got only nesting dies from chloe's and i thought this one will be nice because you've got four cutting dies you've got the beautiful frame you've got that kind of stitched effect and then you've got uh, another layer and you've got that intricate here and then i saw this inspiration and i thought okay i think there is a, a die like that on craft stash as well so that's this die as well and it looks really nice i like this inspiration and i think that frame underneath this inspiration is exactly the same so i've got two fantastic ideas how to use it i wasn't sure about this shape i was thinking to connect them somehow but this uh, inspiration speaks to me and i'm really happy about those two so these are two from craft stash uh, and i think they are still on the website if you are interested then uh, this is from chloe's i was uh, asking some questions about chloe's products from uh, uh katarina and she if you know katarina uh, uh if not then i will link her below the video because she uses a lot of chloe's products she she loves that brand I can honestly say and she loves glitter and this is her favorite one crystalina she's using that constantly so i took a small pot i thought i've got something similar at home and i uh, actually it looks similar to this one i uh, have in my stash already but i will do a test and see if it behaves the same way so this is a uh, crystalina i think it was uh, let me check the invoice uh 4.99 and then I got this set. 
I love flowers and even though I in the previous box which I won from uh, uh, from that uh, card maker uh, of the year I've got lots of flowers but I didn't have anything like cut and emboss a uh, flower die embossing folder so I thought let me try this one this one was actually on sale six pounds only and it's a five by seven embossing folder I already uh, cut out uh, uh, all those free flowers you can see even on, on the embossing folder you've got the measurements you've got three different sizes and I think it's a really nice uh, set so let me show you what I've done I cut that's the biggest size and I use my glitter glue uh, to, uh, to add a bit of sparkle as you can see a little bit but it became a bit lumpy and I just didn't like that effect maybe i should be better maybe i should uh and try different glitter glue then the middle one uh, what i did i used my uh, magic glue which has as you can probably remember from my channel it's uh, has nice thin uh, nib but i will try to find this really precision little bottle for my glue and i i uh, added um this phil martin pink frosting uh glitter it's a bit chunky uh, but it's it's nice and sparkly <laughs> and this is the smallest size i haven't done anything with that one yet so this is the test so let me show you what what's in this um everyday mystery box so this is a standard box if you've uh, bought any collection from chloe's uh i've got exactly the same box uh uh, which I received I think it's going to be almost two years now because I think it was summer time when I received that one uh, and it's the same standard size so you can see lots of products in this mystery box box uh, so first uh, she included this uh, plate combination for different machines how to cut this 3d uh, cut and emboss folder and uh, in this everyday mystery box, uh, those three products are actually in every single everyday box. So we've got this enchanted mandala die, and it's 15.1 centimeter by 15.1. As you can see, it has five beautiful cutting dies. And uh, yes, I'm looking forward to use this one. I think it's really nice because you can use the smaller ones for sentiments. Uh, this one on the website is $14.99. Then uh, this beautiful uh, leafy lace border. And this one has three cutting dies. And I love those cutting and uh, those type of dies because you can cut into the card. You can use one cutting edge on one side and you can cut and it create like a border uh, die. You can uh, add another cutting edge and you can create a panel which you can actually add as an, another layer to your project. So I think this is such a fantastic uh, cutting die and I already love it. So beautiful inspirations as well. You can see that you can, uh, you can put a small sentiment and you can actually use that uh, lacy doily uh, and a stamp a sentiment on uh, in that layer and use it together with this. And then uh, the third item which you're going to get for uh, for sure in this box, box is this 5 by 7 cut and emboss folder. This is a different flower, but the idea is exactly the same as with this one. So if you don't know Chloe's products, that's what you're going to get. It, you're going to have all those beautiful veins embossed and you can add glitter, you can add sparkles or you can leave it as it is. You can see over here the cut result from the folder and you can see the measurements if you are interested about the measurements but i will try to include every single item in the description box below so you can check it out so let me count the products so we've got already three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen yes thirteen products for 40 pounds i think that's good but let me show you more i love this one I, and i think it's such a beautiful stamp it's a stamp and it's a dl size and i can already see that it will probably be able 
to do like a continuous pattern with that but you can do heat embossing you can just stamp it you can heat emboss an uh, ink blend if you heat emboss it on a white card you can do ombre effect so many different things and just just love it i'm so happy with those already and then this stamp uh congratulations time to celebrate i think it's going to be perfect i will try to uh, make a card for my eldest daughter olivia she's going uh, she's finishing her gcses i think her last exam is on monday uh which one is it i think it's music she did chemistry on friday which was quite tough but i think she said music is her last exam and then uh, a week after she's going to have her prom really excited and i'm i can't believe that she's uh, almost 16 now so anyway, I will try to create a card uh, with this uh, stamp, which is, I think, perfect for that occasion. You can see that it's quite big stamp, so nice, big, bold card. And then we've got those stamps as well. Um, those sentiment stamps are quite handy, but these are quite small. So you can see this uh, just for you. Happy birthday. I've got plenty of those. So maybe I will just uh, keep it on the side for happy mails or birthday mails which I have to say I haven't done uh, any in the past few months, but yeah, I'll try to catch up. Anyway, so this one, the next one is this uh, beautiful stamp, but I was looking and I was thinking, um, it's not really my cup of tea. What I love about the set is the grass. <laughs> I think it looks amazing and I don't have anything like this in my stash. Uh, so maybe I will just keep the grass and uh, I've got this little girl, a friend of my, uh, a daughter of my um, good friend and she she likes making cards. I think she's only five or six and she's enjoying those kind of things. So I might give it uh, the other elements to her. I will see. And then another DL size stamp, it has four stamps. So we've got this big one. Uh, we've got the flower, we've got happy birthday, and you can see it, probably it's here underneath, uh, that um, border of uh, flowers. Really nice stamp. You can uh, stamp it, you can stamp it again and cut out the flower. You can see on this inspiration, it's really pretty. Quick and easy card to make. And I think perfect for birthday. So I, I like this one as well. This one is again another nice one. It's actually quite I think it's like a DL size because it's really long and skinny. Perfect for heat embossing, perfect for adding some texture or interest to your backgrounds. So I think this one is really uh, super cute. Love those tiny flowers. You can color them, those leaves. I think it's really nice. And this next one, 3D cut and emboss folder. I'm not keen on this type of product, so... Mm, I will have to think if I want to keep it or, or not. And the size is six by six. I don't really do bigger sizes of cards, so I will have to think about this uh, folder. Uh, let me know what do you think about this folder because I'm really curious. Do you like it or not? It's six by six, a 3D cut and emboss folder, and it's called Floral Cascade. Um, it's really interesting because you've got the space in the center you've got those leaves uh, which are cut a little bit so you can leave them off uh, there are those flowers as well which petals can go up a little bit it's really interesting but mm, not sure i think this is a, a product which i might not be able to use or i don't know i will have to think about it but i'm curious what do you think about this one and then we've got this uh, eight by eight uh, a paper pad and it's called crackle it's 160 gsm and it's fold paper pad lovely colors it says uh, 12 designs in the four of each and it's like you can see that the color between the gold uh, is different uh, so i think that's uh, the variation because most of them are either silver or gold uh, and I love this crackle effect, so I'm sure I will be able to use that. And then I've got this, uh, it's 8 meter of ribbon uh, sugared cream. 
looks it's like a cream glittery ribbon i love ribbon and i i i know i will be able to use it and the last product is this a uh, rosy glow it's nice and pink glitter i hope you can see it it sparkles nicely and i think it's really pretty so these are all the products in the mystery box uh let me know what do you think about it would you actually uh do you like mystery boxes because it would be nice to hear what do you think about it so these are the three products you get in uh, each mystery box for that everyday mystery box and if you want to check uh, on the website she has a christmas mystery box and again she discloses three products which will be included in uh, each box so and the other ones will be random so i think for 40 pounds it's fantastic value for money and i loved those three uh, products so i think uh, i'm really happy about it so let me know what do you think about uh, 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 Chloe's creative cards and maybe you've got your favorite product or maybe you, I know that I think Kim, Kim Kelly, uh, she sent me a card with this and I, and I really like that one. So yes, let me know if you've got any favorite product from this uh, haul. So thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're not going to miss any new upcoming videos and tutorials uh, leave me some comments give me thumbs ups if you like this type of videos and uh, i will see you in my next video very soon bye for now